Fox News alert Joe Biden moments ago defending his record and performance at last night's debate after he fended off attacks from all sides. Hello, everyone. I'm Dana Perino, and this is The Daily Briefing. Johanna Masca, former aide to President Obama, Luke Thompson, host of the Constitutionally Speaking podcast. He's also found at National Review. And Juan Williams, of course, you know him, Fox News political analyst, co-host of The Five, along with me. Uh, President Johanna, let me go to you first, because you were there during the Obama years. And look, I, like, I know what it's like to go through a Republican primary. You saw it in 08 and 2012. Like, like, I know what it feels like. It's interesting to watch the Democrats go through it now. Well, and I think that um, Democrats have selective amnesia about how we actually got elected. I mean, I was there in the trenches. So the very beginning of the Iowa caucuses, when everybody was like, there's no way a guy named Barack Hussein Obama is going to get elected. I was there. And what he did, I, I watched. Like, initially, people came to our events because he was popular. But they stayed at our events when he started telling this fired up, ready to go story. And he was telling a story about leadership when we all come together and he would compliment some of the policies of Republicans. And I know that even cost him in some of the debates. Um, he would have to defend that. But he was building consensus. And I think that we're going to have to get back to those roots to win the general election. And so I don't think, I agree with Eric Holder, I think we've got to transition to how we talk about building on what President Obama set up, which was a data-based fueled economy that has long-lasting longevity if we invest in clean technology, innovation, mm -hmm. and... But Luke, see, you... there was also other attacks, of course, Joe Biden being the front runner. You knew these were going to come. I had suggested last night on The Five, if you remember, I said that um, he would be prepared for attacks from Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, but that uh, I believe that Senator Gillibrand would come up with something obscure from Biden's long 36-year no. record. I was proven right. Let me let me just tell the audience <laughs> that, that we are with the Sphinx. The I know. Sphinx I'm of very the good at these predictions. And look, well, she did it. And I thought it was kind of distasteful. Let's take a listen. He wrote an op-ed was that he believed that uh, women working outside the home would, quote, create the deterioration of family. Um, he also said that women who were working outside the home were, quote, avoiding responsibility. What did you mean when you said when a woman works outside the home, it's resulting in, quote, the deterioration of family? He went on to explain that what he meant by that. And he also was talking about like his own family situation in which he had lost um, his wife and child. And he was a single dad for a while and that his uh, current wife, she had gone on to work the entire time they were together. Uh, the Biden team found this. Uh, Kirsten Gillibrand, uh, thanking Vice President Biden for your unwavering commitment to combating violence against women. Um, you know, she was challenging him, Johanna, mm -hmm. and I understand why she, she wanted to go after him to have a moment. But I didn't think it was a good one. No, I don't think so. And I think we need to start talking to men and women about family values. So, you know, like the truth is, I know Joe Biden. I worked with him when my, he was vice president, and he is one of the most kind, warm people. He has lost family members and mm -hmm. he knows what that's like. So I remember I was super pregnant, sitting outside of Jay Carney's office for a meeting, and he's like, oh my God. And he's like, can I touch it? <laughs> and, you know, he. Did oh, no, that, that might not help him. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you, though? Can I tell you? you that when he met my son he did the same exact thing he was like kiss kiss kiss, kind, kiss 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 right. kiss because that is who he but is but she was trying to no, suggest I thought, Luke. I thought it was a fascinating couple of days glad you're here johanna masca luke thompson and of course juan williams and i'll see you a little bit later on look the forward five. to it